In this video, I'm going to show you how and when to remove Haworthia pups. Choose the pups that are an inch or bigger. They survive better than smaller ones. This is a decent sized pup, which is more than an inch, so I'll take this one. When pulling the pups out, make sure they have roots attached. These three pups are big enough so I'll take them too. I'll take this big one too. This one is too small, so I will leave it attached until it grows a little bigger. We have five pups to pot. Now, let's pot them. I will place them in a dry coconut coir temporarily until they are well rooted before I transfer them to soil. But this is not necessary. You can use your own mix as long as it grains fast. If you don't have dry soil, then you have to air dry for 5 days or so before potting. There are wounds there that needs to heal before watering. This is very important to avoid rot. If your soil is wet, you risk of having root rot. Let's keep it in a bright indoor, no direct sunlight exposure yet, at this time for 2 weeks, until the roots settle in and grow bigger. I usually don't water until a week or two. After that, start watering them with intervals. After one month, introduce it to sun. This process is known as acclimation. To know more about acclimation, please click the thumbnail about acclimation at the end of this video. Let's repot this mother plant. Don't water for two weeks to avoid rot. As I mentioned, there are wounds that needs to heal before watering them. Why it's important to either pot it in dry soil or air dry for 5 days or so. Please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Happy succulents gardening!